In this problem, we're given some polar coordinates, 5 comma pi over 2, and we're asked to plot them and convert to rectangular coordinates. So recall that polar coordinates are of the form r comma theta. And you can actually do this problem um, without using any formulas. So let's do it two ways. Let's do it without the formulas and then with the formulas. So without the formulas, let's first go through the plotting process. So we'll draw the little axes here and one here. And so your theta here is pi over 2. So the way I like to do it is I first travel a distance of pi over 2. So pi over 2 is going to be right here. And then because r is positive 5, you just go up 5. And right there, that's the point. That's your polar coordinate. If r was negative 5, you go the other way. So it would, it would be down here. But it's positive, so there we are. So this distance here is 5. That means that the rectangular coordinates are just 0, 5. Boom, done, that's it. Um, another way to do it is to use the formulas. So recall that x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. And then you just plug in the numbers. So it'll be, uh, let's see, r is 5, so you have 5 cosine pi over 2. And the cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so you just get 5 times 0, so you get 0. If you do it here, you get 5 sine pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so you just get 5 times 1, so you just get 5. So your x is 0 and your y is 5, so you get 0, 5. Again, in this case, it wasn't really necessary to go through all of this, though, because, again, when you plot your polar coordinate, you, know, you first travel theta. I'll put you right here, pi over 2. And then you travel a distance of 5 towards that terminal point, and that point is 0, 5, right? Because this distance here is 5. So that ordered pair must be 0, 5, and you've actually found the rectangular coordinates just by plotting the polar coordinate. I hope this video has been helpful.